Hello, welcome to the Repuzzle channel. Today I will be showing you a tutorial for the Be Puzzled original 3D crystal puzzle Rubber Duck. Um, unfortunately, this puzzle does not have any numbers on them, so I will be showing you the piece and doing a description of them, and hopefully we will be able to get the puzzle together for you. Alright, let's get started. Okay, the first piece you're going to start with is this piece right here. It's a big flat piece on one side. It's only one like this, so it should be pretty easy to find. Next we will grab this piece right here. It has an indent on this side, one going out on this side, and then we're going to flip it as one coming out and another going in on this side. I'm gonna take that piece and put it over here. This is the next piece has one coming out over here. So one going in on the other side. You flip it over. It's kind of curved upward over that way. And then this side has two coming out that is going to go on the other side. This next piece has two coming out on this side. And when you flip it over, it has two going in on the other side angle going up that way. That piece is going to go right over here. Okay, the next piece has one going in, another coming out, and when you flip it over it's going up that way. It has a hole right there and two coming out. That is going to go over the hole right there. Just like that. This is the next piece. Has one coming in on this side, one going out. Flip it over and curve it. It angles up that way. And has one coming out and another going in. That piece is going to go this way, right there. Okay, next piece has a hole right in the middle of it and two going in. And when you flip it, it has two going in as well and it's angled up that way gonna go right here over the hole the next piece it has two going out on this side flip it over it has a slight angle still going that way and then two more that come out I'm going to put that one over on this side right here Your next piece is this one right here. Has one going in, one coming out, and when you flip it over, has a little indent right there, one going out, and one coming in. The longer side is going to go right there. Okay, next piece is this one right here has one coming out and one going in and when you flip it over has a little indent right there so one going in and another going out that one is going to go along the top right here and next piece this one right here has a hole in the middle. It's 
two going in, and when you flip it, it has two more going in on that side. That one is going to fit right there over the hole. Okay, and the next one is this piece. It has one going in, one coming out. And if you flip it over, it has a little part sticking up right there, and two going out. This piece is going to go right next to the hole because there's a little indent right there. That's going to go right there next to the hole. Next piece going to be this one right here. It has one coming in on this side, one going out, and when you flip it over it has one going in on this side and one coming out on that side. Gonna take that side, put it right at the top, and the next piece is this one right here. It has one going out, there's one going in, and you flip it over, it has two going in. I'm going to take the side with the two going in, stick it at the top, right there. Here's the next piece, it has a hole going through the middle, so one coming out, so one going in. And when you flip it over, it has two going out. The one with the two going out is going to fit right over the hole, down here. Next piece, it has two going in. And when you flip it over, it has two going out with an angle going up that way. That one is going to go towards the top corner over here, just like that. The next piece has one going in, one going out, and an angle going upward. You flip it over, it has two sticking out. You're going to take that piece, put it on the right side over here, just like that. Okay, here's the next one. It has one going out and one coming in. It's an angle going upward. And then you flip it over, it has one going out and another going in. That one is going to go over here, the top, just like that. All right, your next piece is going to be one with a hole in the middle right there. There's one going out, there's one coming in. There's a little angle going upward this way. You flip that over, it has two going in. You're going to take the one with the two going in, stick it along the back over the hole right there. Alright, the next piece is this one right here. It has an angle going up right there. There's two going out. When you flip it over, it has one going out and one going in. That one is going to go on the left, right there. Your next piece is right here. It has a big angle going upward. One going in, one coming out. And you flip it over. It has one going out and another going in. That one is going to go towards the top right. And stick it on just like that. Next piece is this one right here. It has one going out and another going in. And when you flip it over, and it's angled up right there, then you flip it over, it has two going in. That one is going to go at the front, just like that. And this next piece is the back piece. It has a little tail right there. And there's two going in. 
you flip it over there's one going in and one going out that's going to go on the back just like that and here's the next piece it has an angle going upward right there two going out and when you flip it, it has another two going out that one is going to go on the top right right there here's the next piece it has an angle going up and there's a little ledge right there it has one coming out there's one going in and when you flip it to the other side it has one going in and one coming out right there that one is going to go on the left right there just like that and there's the next piece it has an angle going out right there there's two going in and when you flip it it has two going out that piece is going to go this way with the two going in right there this is the next piece has an edge right there it has two going in when you flip it over it has one in and one out that one is going to go right here at the top Here's the next piece. It has an edge right there. There's one going out. There's one going in. And you flip it over. It has one going in and one coming out. That one is going to go this way at that angle. And it's going to fit right there. That's the back of the head. Here is your next piece. It has the indent right there, there's one going out, one going in, and when you flip it, it has two going out. The one that has the one going out and the one going in is going to connect to the last piece, just like that. The next one is the beak. Set this down for one second. I'm going to take the beak. And these two parts they have little cutouts on both of them you can see one right there and right there both pieces go together so it fits together like that the little larger one on top sticks out a little more that is going to go Right into that little opening. Just like that. Your next piece is going to be this one. It has one going in, one coming out. When you flip it over, it has two going in. The side with the two going in is going to go on the last part, on the main part, just like that. Here's the next piece. It has an indent out of it right there. Has two going out. Has a little point right there. That's for the where the hole is. When you flip it over, it has one going out and one going in. This little ledge, that's the indent, is going to go towards the beak and the rest of it's going to wrap around the other part of the head. Just like that. Just the next piece that has one going out, one going in. When you flip it over, it has two going in. The part with the two going in is going along the back of the head. Just like that. Here's the next piece. It has one going out, one going in. When you flip it over, it has two going in. The part with 
the one out and one in is going along the back of the head, just like that. Here's the next piece. It has an indent right there for the beak. It has one going in, there's one coming out, and on the other side, it has one going out, one coming in. You're going to take that side and put it down towards the beak, just like that. The next piece has the eyes on it, also has two going out. Flip it over, it's one in and one out. The eyes are going to go towards the beak, just like that. The next piece, it has two going out and an angle going upward that way. And then it has two going out on this side as well. That piece is going to go this way with the angle coming upward, like that way. So it's like that. It's going to go right there. Here's the next piece. It has one coming out, one going in, angled downward that way. You flip it over, it has two going in. The two going in is going to go to the back of the head, just like that. The next piece is going to be the one with the hole in the middle. There's one going in, there's one coming out. You flip it over, it has two going in. That is going to go right here, along the back of the head. Next you're going to take the big stick, and that one is going to go through the top of the head. You take your key and you tighten it, but you don't want to over tighten it because it can break your puzzle. Just like that. And then you're going to take the small one and you're going to go through the bottom. Same thing, don't over tighten it. Just like that. And the last piece is going to be this one right here. It is the top of the head, the other side is one in, one out, and then you're just going to slide it into place, just like that. So lastly, you are going to take the stickers, these stickers right here, you pick whatever one you want for the eyes, I think I'm going to go with the one with the extra highlight in them. You take the sticker and you put it right into that part of the eye and see it the outline of it like that and the other one just like that So this is how it should look when it's finished. If you have any suggestions of what I should put together next time, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.